my name is Craig Schultz and I'm here with my Delta 11 electric motorcycle and I'd like to give you a little tour. This is an electric motorcycle prototype that was built in 2011 by Schultz Engineering and it was built specifically to explore the aerodynamics and its impact on electric motorcycles. So I'd like to show you something that's really unique about this particular bike and that's what we call two position seating. It was engineered very specifically to be able to be ridden like a conventional motorcycle in this riding position, but also while riding down the road to be able to get into this riding position, which is more of a feet forward riding position. It's much more comfortable. And the whole point of riding in this position, besides the comfort, is that it's uh, you're out of the wind. It's much more comfortable, no wind blowing on you, getting you cold like this morning. I started the ride, it's 34 degrees, and I rode for about 15 miles without a glove on this hand because I have a touch screen up here that uh, I need uh, bare fingers to uh, navigate on. My hand didn't get cold. But I am sitting inside of this bike, and the aerodynamics of the bike have the opportunity to give us much greater range, also a higher top speed. So while I'm riding down the road, I can change position. Within a, a second, I can go from an uh, upright position to a lower riding position. And this is the position, obviously, that you would come to stop at with your being able to put your feet down. Actually, you cannot put your feet down when you're in the uh, lower riding position, which, again, is not a problem because, uh, well, when you stop, you want to be able to put your feet down. And when you're going slower, you really don't want to be in this lower riding position. For instance, if you're in a uh, parking lot, or in heavy traffic, you want to be in the higher riding position so that you can see and be seen a little easier. So I'd like to give you a little tour of the bike. Uh, the, the seating position also allows you easily to uh, be able to step through the bike. I'm going to pick up that camera and give you a little tour of the bike and the special features. So first of all, this is an all-electric bike. Common questions are, well, how fast will it go? Well, it goes 70 mile an hour. It was engineered to, to do that. It's a commuter bike. It has a hub motor. It's a 30, excuse me, a 30 kilowatt hub motor, which is 40 horsepower. It has lithium iron phosphate batteries, four battery packs, the silver uh, box right here holds uh, 16 lithium iron phosphate cells. And we have four of these battery packs. One, two are inside the frame and two are mounted external here. Gives us 96 volt system voltage. They're rated at um, 80 amp hours. So we have pretty close to uh, 7,000 7,600 watt hours available for the bike. This bike has been ridden up to 100 miles on a charge. I have to take it a little slower. Uh, it was built for aerodynamics and the front uh, shell here is all that's been completed. There is a tail section that's been designed but has not been completed. The uh, goal was to have a 100 mile range at 55 mile an hour and we've never accomplished that because we haven't finished the aerodynamics. Obviously, I'm uh, charging here with a J1772 uh, at a charge point charge station in Zeeland, Michigan. These charge uh, stations started out uh, three years ago. You could find them around. Uh, these days, they're starting to charge. This particular charge station is charging 20 cents a kilowatt hour to uh, charge, which I think is a, a pretty fair price. That provides for the maintenance of the charge point station, and it's just a little bit more than I, I pay at home. I actually have a solar panels at home, and so this bike, uh, when I charge it at home, is being charged with solar solar energy. I have a couple of onboard chargers that are mounted on some rubber uh, isol vibration isolation uh, details here. The bike has a cycle analyst for instrumentation. I also have my uh, Android cell phone which mounts here that I'm recording this with. Um, the nice thing about the way I have my Android mounted is it sees right through the windshield and so I can actually do 
uh, video while I'm driving down the road. I have a, a, a dampener here on the steering. Uh, the steering has moved back. That's uh, the front end of this bike. The front suspension is from a Ninja 250. The uh, rear suspension on this bike is from a Yamaha Sika 2 motorcycle. It's a direct acting uh, shock absorber down in there. The whole tail of this bike right here is bolted on. In fact, something that's very unique about this particular bike is it's all made from aluminum and it was water jet cut aluminum and it's all bolted together. There are no welds in this bike from the front forks all the way to the rear swing arm. It's completely bolted together. And that was done in an attempt to prove it could be done but also it would allow this bike to be sold as a kit bike. Real common issue with a a custom motorcycle is if it's one off it's hard to weld that frame straight without a jig some sort of a welding uh, fixture this bike did not require a jig it was assembled all with bolts uh, the water jet cut aluminum 1 8 inch thick uh, aluminum was water jet cut and the holes were precision located and, and uh, there's some billet aluminum parts on uh, that the aluminum sheet stock is bolted to uh, with uh, countersunk flathead screws to allow it to have precision uh, locating. I've taken a lid off from there so that we can see a little bit inside the bike. You can see a couple of my battery ma management uh, systems here. They control the so that I don't overcharge. They also allow me to monitor system uh, voltage of the different cells during a ride. Right in here you can see the front end of a, a Kelly controller, which is a controller that's used to control this bike. Oh, this big box. Everybody always thinks that there's batteries in here. There's not batteries in there. That's just a big box to haul, haul stuff in. It's a, haul a heck of a lot of groceries on here. I have LED lighting on here for tail lights and brake light. So I have an LED light mounted here on the outside. You can see uh, this canopy, we have some issues. Uh, there's a headlight on the inside of the canopy and we do get some uh, glare back from the inside of the canopy. Uh, this, this is a little piece of plastic to keep the glare out of my eyes when I'm riding at night. What else? Well, let's see, I do have a couple of things. Uh, one thing here is you can notice that my my rear view mirrors are all inside. Rear view mirrors on a vehicle can really consume a lot of uh, aerodynamic drag. Oh, this bike's modular, I should mention that. Because it's all bolted together, that tail section can be unbolted there, and instead of it being a two-position riding thing, you could easily make this take off the canopy there and make it into more of a street rod or a more of a chopper type style bike.